when I start uh, a story, I like to start with a bit of action. I've read a number of stories in English that have started that way, and it just really grabs you. It really gets you into the story. It's as if you're there as well, which I always appreciate as a reader. I want to feel like I'm, I'm there. Mm. So my, in the rough draft, it turned out that the first scene had some action in it. It's where we find out Deirdre's fate, how horrible her fate is, how she's kind of cursed in a way. And then also about King Connor, about a bit more about him, his psyche, kind of what his motivations are. <clears throat> so I thought when I when the first draft you know, kind of came out, right when it was written down, oh, this is this is a great way to start. And it takes a little bit of time in that scene f for the action to get rolling, for the story to get started. And I thought, well, what can I do to make it a bit more gripping to begin with? I'm a big fan of George R. R. Martin's writing. It took a while to get into, and it's very good not to get attached to any of his characters because they will die and it'll be pretty horrible. But I find that he's very skillful at very simple ways of catching one's attention. Just a s sentence at the beginning of the story, boom. And it just gives you a, a chance to pause and, whoa. I, I appreciate that. And I was thinking, well, how can I do, how can I make the reader pause a bit and maybe go back and read, wait a minute, what? Did that just happen? Did he actually kill that guy? Uh, so what I did was for the first scene, I wanted to highlight more of King Connor's personality, of his obsession, of his paranoia and his suspicion, how he's always looking over his shoulder thinking he's going to lose the kingship. <clears throat> and I was saying, well, how could, how could this happen? And in the first scene, he he has pretty pretty bad dream, and then he wakes up from it. One of his servants is checking on him, and he just lashes out at him because he thinks that oh, there's an assassin in my room, <laughs> which was quite quite fitting. It felt right. It felt authentic for him to do that, even though it's a very horrible thing to do. <laughs> it felt authentic for him to. Always be wary of who's coming to talk to him, right? of being surprised. He's always looking for danger because he feels, maybe he feels that he's not 100% suited to be king, that he's not, he's not fully the king, which is in the original stories, it's true. There's, a, there's always a, a group that really they don't accept him as king. Mm -hmm. that, I thought that was a nice way to, to start the start the novel off with a bit of a bit of a shock so you have been warned <laughs>